There's one more twist left. There's something that I need to tell Gail about myself, and I think this trip is the right time to do it. The trip to Cabo started off incredibly. Oh my god. No, you were not gonna really put me in the pool. It was three really wonderful days of beautiful moments and just us getting to know each other. No! Then ah! <laughs> on the fourth day, a storm moved in. And I don't know if that was a bad sign, but to me I think honesty is the most important thing in a relationship. And I do have something in my past that I felt it was time for Gil to know. Gil, I, I wanted to tell you something that is who I used to date, and it shouldn't be a big deal, but I'd rather have you hear it from me than from somebody else, but um, my ex-boyfriend was Fabio. I told him who I was with, and he took it pretty hard. I don't know how you, I don't know how you react to something like this. When I found out that Larissa had been uh, with Fabio, you know, I have a, a serious preconceived notion about Fabio. Who doesn't? If it had been anybody else that nobody knew, it wouldn't be an issue, which is kind of why it's not fair, because there's judgments placed on my ex that people assume he's a certain way. Any guy in the United States of America can feel with me on this one. He's on the cheesy romance novel, so I mean, with some cheesy pose sitting there, it's beyond me. It sucks. Yeah, so go with my instinct to prove not to be right. I feel like everything that he's said, everything that he's done, every time he's kissed me, every time he's touched me, meant nothing. Just all I have to do is say, put yourself in my position. That's all I have to say to anyone. Put yourself in my position. And what is it that irks you about it? And it's the same thing that irks me. Fabio. The more time I have to think about it, that whole thing gets, keeps just regurgitating. I don't see how that can be any good. So um, this has been a great experience and let's just take it for that and be done with it. The hardest part about saying goodbye to Gil is that I know that we had a great time and I know that we could have a great relationship and there could be a lot of potential there. And it just really sucks that he can't accept it. But maybe now I know how Brian Worth feels. I want you to know that I'm always going to be there for you. Always. I know that the way that I feel right now, I have not felt in a long, long time. To have that rejection. To be rejected. And it's kind of funny because I'm sitting here rejecting guys. 20, 25 guys went home that were rejected. And in the end, I'm getting rejected. Shame on me.